Mm, yeah, about three years. I saw years. some of your videos and um, like those videos are like the picture, the videos are so amazing. How do you do it? Like so fast, 2019, 2020, 2020. That's like two years. Well, once you have like a dream, like I was talking about earlier, like once you have that vision, it's no stopping you. Like once you get that vision from God, you have to ask God, okay, what do you want for me? Or you have to know what you want for yourself too. Because he wants to work with you. Not You're not working for God. He wants to work with you. Right. So your um, dreams and your aspirations are in there as well. So you have to really look at your talents. Look at um, what you find like pleasure in. Your passions. And just look for things that really give you fulfillment in a way. Like for me, fashion and creating um, and it's fulfilling to me. Oh, wow. So what, mo what motivates you to do that? What motivates me? The vision, really. Just the dream of being successful something in my like, craft. Something that you always wanted to, to do? Actually, no. When you were young or something? No. In all honesty, like I just found my dream in 2019. So that's probably why I've been going so hard. I, I can say that I lost myself before 2019. And I really didn't know what I wanted to do with myself. So, 2019 was definitely like a turning point for me in my life period. That's when my relationship with God started. And that's when I found my dreams and my aspirations. So, yeah. Wow. She said, wow. <laughs> I'm so glad. How old are you? How old am I right now? Yeah. 22. Look at you. 22 and you have all this, like, all this mentality to, to just go <laughs> this mentality. way yeah. Way beyond what, like, really? like twenty-three year old can twenty-two year old can like think like that, you know. For sure. Some I, of them. I feel as though your experiences shape you. If I didn't go through like an experience, I wouldn't be where I am right now. Oh. I would say that because what really triggered me to getting into a relationship with God was something traumatic. Basically, <laughs> I failed classes, <laughs> like classes that I actually worked hard at, and I still failed. So it's just like, even though you give your 100%, you can still fail. Mm. So in that moment, I really wanted to talk to my mother about it, but she wasn't having it. She just saw, oh, you're wasting money. What are you doing with your life, basically? So she wasn't having it. And I was just in between a rock and a hard place because...